Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to create a section or floor plan. The process is the same, it just depends on where you decide to cut your building. First thing I'm going to do is save this file before I do anything further. And then I'm going to create a new layer called Section. And then I'm going to create a line that exceeds this whole building. Make sure you're working on the section layer. And then I'm going to highlight the building, everything except for the reference plane. And then I'm going to type in section. It will ask for the start of the section, which is the start of the reference plane. And then the end of the section, which is the end of the reference plane. And it will create your section. Before you do anything further, you need to get out of this command. So press escape on your keyboard. And then we're going to group these lines together. And then we're going to move them out of the building. And then we're going to rotate it so we can see it in plan view. You'll see why we need to do this later as the tutorial goes on. Next thing we need to do is create the lines behind the section, the, the lines that weren't cut. So to do this, we're going to highlight the building. We're going to type to highlight. We need to highlight the building, and then we need to make sure everything is ungrouped because I have my stairs grouped, and this process needs that everything needs to be ungrouped. So we're going to type in ungroup several times just to make sure everything in the building is ungrouped. Then we're going to highlight the building once again. Type in cut plane into the ref to the command line. Or we'll ask for start of the plane, which is start of the reference line, the end of the plane, which is end of the reference line, and then it'll create a plane that intersects the building. Then get out of this command by pressing escape. Then we're gonna split the building in half using the cut the cut plane. So I'll type in split. It'll ask for this cutting object, which is our cut plane. Select it and then press enter. And as you can see, it says split failed in the command line, which is it's not cutting through everything because it's only cutting through the objects that is intersecting the cut plane. So deselect that. And then I'm going to hide my cut plane and reference line. And then I'm going to delete what's, what I don't need. So now you have a section of your building. And then I'm going to go to my right view. And I'm going to highlight my building. And make sure your right view is highlighted. And then I'm going to type in make 2D. And this window will pop up. And make sure it's on current view and everything else is deselected. And then click OK. It will create a 2D drawing of that view for you. And it will be put in a different layer that Rhino created called make 2D visible lines. We're going to move this to where our section is. So I'm going to turn on that layer again. I'm going to group our Make 2D together. I have my section uh, rotated the wrong way. So I'm going to reverse that. So here we have the section which is used for poche or hatching in AutoCAD or Illustrator. And this is the section where you can see things that are not cut, such as the stairs that were not in the section, the section command. So from these two these two two D drawings, we can export it to Illustrator or AutoCAD to create your final drawings. So that's how you create a section or floor plans. And thanks for watching.